quarantine day 12, 15, I don't know, one of those. At this point, it's pretty much certain that we're probably not going to be going out for at least two, three more weeks. So with that being said, I know a lot of you guys are going to have to find ways how to stay fit, how to just keep your body moving and just keep yourself going. Being in a wheelchair, especially being a quad. So you're going to have to find ways to work out from home and I'm here to show you how. Now, being a quad, like I said, you got to find out ways to keep your body moving. And that's what we're gonna do now. The first workout we're gonna do is gonna involve these ropes and these battle ropes. As you can see, I'm already kind of strapped up. You are gonna need, um, I mean, some of you might not need too much help. I still need some help getting strapped in. And with these, like I said, we're gonna do a variation of different rope workouts and just different like motions so I can work out different muscle groups. First, we're gonna focus on doing maybe, I'd say, four sets of 30 seconds if possible, 25 seconds. If you can't, kind of work your way up and we'll go from there. chest and stomach as well too believe it or not when you're doing things like this you have to keep yourself kind of steady and in place so it does work a little bit of your abs and your core as well too now we're going to switch off to single hands and we're going to do the same exact thing you can either do them like this which is opposite or you can just do them all the way through with these however especially for like my c6 quads and above i want you to try as best as you can to keep your arms straight Keep your arm straight on this and you pull down you're going to work more of that tricep region as compared to working more of your bicep when you're pulling same thing 20 seconds let's get a couple rounds in so i can show you guys what we're talking about super hard to keep your arms straight on being like a c5 quad but you focus on that should help a little bit with the tricep strength and should get you a little bit more blood flowing through that area behind the arm specifically Guys, almost there. You're about six sets in. You're about six sets in right now. Should be feeling pretty good. Blood should be pumping all throughout your body right now, and it's pretty easy to focus. I think at this point into the workout because everything's kind of moving. Initially, when you start up, being in a wheelchair, especially, it's terribly, terribly hard to get everything just going. But once you get going, we get started, and this is what happens. So I want you guys to try these, which is just switching from side to side. And with these, terrible. Try to pull your arms out as much as you can. Kind of like reverse seat belts. You can do this on each side. Go, let's say 10 to 15 on each side. That should be pretty good.
like I said, it's the key is getting your blood pumping. Now we're gonna work on pulling and getting a lot of these lateral movements going where you're using a lot more of your back and your biceps. So first we're gonna work on pulling at a, at a rate that you can get at least 12 reps in. Anywhere between 12 to 16, that's what we aim for, but definitely at least 12. Now go ahead and pull back a little bit. And you should have somebody helping you. Now with these, all you're doing is pulling in and out. Focus on keeping your hands secure, your back straight. All right, now with these, the next one we're gonna do, you're not gonna change too much up. However, you're gonna be initiating more of these core muscles because you're trying to keep yourself up while balancing on one arm and using the other one to pull. Let me show you what I mean by this. Go ahead and pull, pull. Now, you should be trying to keep your arm up in general, the one that you're not pulling, and use the other one to pull out pull out, <laughs> pull towards you while maintaining as good of a posture as possible. If you're doing it right, even as a quad, you'll be able to feel it in your core and your lower back as well too. Pull a little more, 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 pull more. Step back a little bit, there you go. So, you almost want to be falling forward, but not really. By this point, arms should feel kind of like cinder blocks are sitting on top of them, but it's good. It's a good way to get everything going. And you can always add your own variation to each of these just to like change out the workouts a little bit. I'm not gonna show you guys every single workout you can do with these, just cause I feel like we can save that for another video. But this is gonna be a really good way for you to get your body going and to maintain some level of physical fitness in times like this. Yo, it's crazy. By this point, you should be begging to quit, but we ain't there yet. We ain't there yet. We ain't there yet. All right, so if you're doing these fast enough, like I said, you want to maintain that heart rate going. So I'm talking to you guys in between. Isn't really the best thing. Maintain tension on those muscles. If you maintain tension on those muscles, I promise you the strength will come. I know some of you guys were probably bodybuilders before this. It is what it is. You start somewhere and you move up. And this is where we're starting right now. So with these, same thing. We're pulling again. However, our hands are going to be maintained up, face up. And we're going to pull, pull, palm up. There you go. We're going to pull outwards. So notice I'm coming in and I'm bringing them up and out, 12 to 16.
talking in between everything is so much harder. Um, it just is. But like I said, 12 to 16, always shoot for that. Do more if you can. Don't overwork yourself. You want to keep yourself, you know, able to do these consistently. And yeah, you can always switch off. Like one day you can focus mainly on like back and biceps. Um, just think pulling motions. And the next day you can focus on pushing motions. Uh, and those are kind of like more just, you know, think tricep, chest. Just in time, my hands were getting extremely numb, and I'm sure yours will too if you do these workouts. So, the cool thing about these gloves, however, for the most part, you can latch your hands onto anything by yourself. They have this cool little ring thing where pretty much you put your thumb through in order to get through, and then from there, you can kind of shimmy that in, shimmy it through the hole. Not too tough. I have a bad habit of using my teeth. It's probably pretty unsanitary, but it is what it is. Yeah, so these are pretty much your best friend as far as coming, as far as when it comes to like doing workouts and whatnot. You're gonna really want some gloves just like this because they're gonna be your lifesaver and they're gonna allow you to do those pulling and pushing motions that you would otherwise not be able to do. All right, so we're done with bands, we're done with the ropes. That should be at least, I would say, six good workouts to get you going. Now there's plenty more we can go over those in a couple of videos. Let me know down below if you guys want me to go over some of those, especially like chest and tricep workouts specifically. I know a lot of my quads, I know a lot of you guys want some of those. So let me know and I'll be happy to make those for you. So yeah, getting back to this, these medicine balls, I'm gonna use today the two, the four, and the seven. And what we're gonna do is with the two pound, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to just throw the ball while attempting to keep our body straight and not get hit in the face. That's ultimately the goal. So with that being said, like I said, you don't want to lean forward like this. Try to bring the ball wherever you can. Do my, my um, old school waiter technique. And from there, you kind of just throw the ball. So kind of watch this motion. There you go. And as fast as possible, as hard as possible. You're gonna do these, I'd say two pounds is pretty easy at this point for me or whatever. But some of you guys are just starting out, I'm sure you're gonna be able to use these and you'll be able to do 15 to 20. Shoot for 10 at first and go from there. So, three sets of single arms. I'm gonna focus on that. As you guys can see, my right arm still isn't even as strong as my left arm is. It has to do with my injury itself. Some of you guys might have the opposite um, effect where your left arm is weaker than your right arm, so on and so forth. It all varies, um, especially with like spinal cord injuries. But you wanna focus on doing those individual, just so you can kind of build on both those arms individually. Three sets of those singles should work, and then you wanna do this is the four pound now. We're gonna do the same thing, 
but we're gonna do one set of this four and then we're gonna jump up to that seven pound and we're gonna do another set of seven. Ready, go. And single, believe it or not, is harder because you have more individual control. Um, why don't you try to keep yourself back, keep your head back as much as you can. Shoulders down and not get hit in the face or the chest. That's also key. Yeah. So, work at your own pace. So. I tend to just do these until failure. So whenever I get tired, I stop. And if you do that the right way, you can get a good 20 to 40 and easy, easy. So obviously the, the more weight you're throwing, it's gonna be a little harder. It's gonna make you, for the most part, lean forward a little bit. So just try to keep yourself back. As you can tell, it's not that easy. But the more you do so, the more you will attack these little muscles down here that seem to be on standby. Next workout we're gonna do, four pound ball fees. We are going to do slam. So like I said, these aren't the only workouts you can do with these balls and I figured I'd save the other ones for a different video, but this is gonna be the last one that we're gonna go ahead and uh, you know, tackle. I figured that's about nine to 10 different workouts you guys can do specifically, and out of that, I mean, you can create a variation going to the side, changing the motions up. Uh, with these, it will be a little harder, so you might need to be slouching a little more in your chair. Try not to, you know, tackle those muscle groups in your core that are going to pretty much keep you sitting up. Uh, but these are going to be, like I said, a little harder because you're not throwing it forward. You're going to be throwing it down and like a power throw to the ground. So watch your feet. Try as best as you can. Lift your arms. And from there, you just push all the way through so lift from here obviously high as you can and then you want to slam it to the ground so as hard as you can try not to tilt back if you can use a power chair for this it'd probably be more ideal just because you can get more of that security behind you as to not falling back but these Work your way up. Start with two pounds, then you hit the four pounds, and if you can, you get to the seven. So on, so forth. It's pretty easy to create home workouts. The hard part is doing them, and the hard part is staying consistent while doing them. So think about these workouts. Try to use some of these. Like I said, I hope this helps a couple of you. I hope some of my fellow quads um, get something out of this video as far as like motivation to keep working out 
like I said, let me know down below if you guys do need to know where to buy any of these items as far as medicine balls, active hands, or the um, bands themselves because that will allow you to get your workout in. So, yeah, no worries. Uh, so pretty much, like I said, get your workout in, um, stay busy, stay active, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.